today we're trying to extend summer a little bit. I know it's fall, but we wanted just a little bit more summer before our fall fully hit. We love the beach. And this was our way of kind of extending summer a little bit. You know, when you live in an RV and you can move your home around, uh, that's one of the benefits is uh, we wanted to extend summer a little bit. And we love fall, but at the same time, absolutely wanted to extend summer just, just a little bit longer. And it, I think fall time in the San Diego area, especially here on Coronado, it, the fall time is like the best summer you could ever get. You know, the water's a little bit warmer, the uh, the crowds are gone, there's no, there's not as much overcast as say like June, when people wanna hit here early in the summer. Um, so it's, it's really spectacular for that. So we're here checking out the beach today. I say checking it out like we don't know what it's all about, but uh, one of the times we came down here, it was, uh, well, it, it didn't exactly have the best ending. Soaking the foot, got stung by a stingray. The best way to deal with it is to soak it in hot water. So lifeguard tower was nice enough to, to treat us and uh, help us out. So uh, getting it done. You know, even with getting stung by a stingray, the beach is always fun. I don't care what anybody says, the beach is always fun. So we're still here hanging out, stingray foot and all, it's a good time. So what do they say when you fall off the horse? You gotta get right back on, right? So today, I gotta get out there and uh, catch some waves, boogie boarding, body surfing, whatever you wanna call it. I gotta get back out there and do that. survived no stingray sting today last time I came out of the water and I had a stingray sting my loving wife was so <laughs> kind to, to offer to pee on it <laughs> I did <laughs> I thought it might be a good fit so it's not it's so not no. the cure <laughs> let me let me help you if if you get stung by a stingray it's not it's not like the worst thing ever it feels um, like 10 stingrays bee stings or like hornet stings all in the same spot and um, it, it would hurt for quite a while but you we went up to the lifeguard tower and they told us how to treat it and no they didn't pee on it either uh, they no <laughs> they kind of chuckled and laughed and said yeah don't 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 do that so they uh, heated up boiled a bunch of water for us put my foot in there and uh, the water breaks down the protein in the poison that's in the sting and so we did that for about an hour kept doing more and more hot water and uh, it takes that pain away, that poison, it, it knocks it down. So did that for about an hour and a half. It still hurt and I did it again when we got home. So 
we found out too that it, you don't pee on jellyfish things either. No, don't pee on no, that either. Not that's yep. not it either. No, they said hot water regions. for that too. No, cold water for just, jellyfish. Just don't don't go peeing on people when they get hurt. <laughs> I think that's the lesson that we need to take away from this, okay? <laughs> okay. No more offering to pee. <laughs> okay, I won't pee on anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enjoying the day, enjoying the evening down here on the Coronado Beach. And uh, Eli wanted to go check out the tide pools. Problem is everybody else is ready to go. This kid, he loves his tide pools. I don't think he would leave unless we actually asked, hey, kiddo, you ready to go? So. I'm making the trek down to the tide pools because everybody else is ready to go. Firefly pizza, yes please. Well, if you're ever in the area, Firefly Pizza is definitely the place to hit up. And we're gonna call that a wrap for today. We'll catch you next time.